Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot, astrology and spirituality. Um, hello to you, wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. I wanted to look into the energy uh, of the energetic vibration, the energetic patterns of the um, leader of the Oath Keepers. So this is more like a portrait of what makes a right wing extremist slash domestic terrorist slash seditious conspiratorial <laughs> person what actually uh, makes them do what they do uh, looking at their uh, energetic makeup so uh, Elma Stewart Rhodes III leader founder and leader of the Oath Keepers has been was charged with seditious conspiracy now, the January 6th committee, it, their work is continuing. They have subpoenaed uh, Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani and um, Sidney Powell. It doesn't take much of a guess to know they won't turn up. But I feel intuitively every time they subpoena someone, it's like they have evidence. Now, the former Defence Secretary, Chris... His name has just gone. Uh, Chris Smith, is it? Um, has been, is talking, rumoured to be talking to the January the 6th committee. Um, Miller, Chris Miller. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I've just uh, completed a channeling. So uh, my mind is sort of half on the collective and what we're learning and uh, also on on what I'm doing, which is the uh, reading on uh, Stuart Rhodes. And they're kind of one in the same thing. It's it's all about learning. And we're doing a lot of that. So Chris Miller is also talking, rumoured to be talking to January 6th. Of course, as you know, he held back the National Guard. Uh, all the pieces of the puzzle are coming together. The big question is, where's the DOJ in all of this? But we will get there. Uh, I also, uh, in my previous reading, felt that the fake electors would be charged. It's like the evidence is playing out in public, is what I feel. You and I, from public sources, could chart a very accurate timeline of the um, attempted sedition, attempted coup. You and I could do that through public sources and so the most obvious question is, where is the DOJ? I think the DOJ is getting there, but oh, is already there. <laughs> but we, we wouldn't necessarily know it. So Elma Stewart Rose, just a little bit of a recap. Uh, founder and leader of the Oath Keepers. He, um, he studied law. He had a law degree from Yale. Um, he, in his early days, was a paratrooper in the army. Um, he's been in the news since about 2015. He was disbarred from practicing law in Montana for um, abandoning his clients. His ex-wife, who's since obviously divorced him, has a domestic violence order out on him in relation to uh, his threats of violence against her and her children. She is very relieved, reportedly, that he has been uh, charged and arrested because it takes the pressure off her. She's worrying all the time. Apparently, he used to brandish a handgun uh, around her uh, while he was threatening her, threatening to shoot himself, etc. Now, he did apparently lose an eye following a an accident at a sh rifle range or shooting range where his own gun went off and and, uh, and of course he lost an eye as a result. So now he's very much one-eyed. If he didn't start out that way, that's the way he went. Now, in a very radical, radical evolution into terrorism. And let's call it what it is, terrorism. He's a, he's, he had thousands and thousands of dollars worth of military equipment 
guns and other things ready to be boated in to DC once they took the capital. This is a very violent person. We'll also ask if he's going to open up about the identity of the bomber. Is he going to flip and talk? All right, first of all, his chakras, the energetic vibration, please. I will be looking at his base chakra, his sacral chakra, very much attached or formed, you know, in early lives. Can we can start to see some traumas and patterns there through to his solar plexus, which is the getting of wisdom, awareness, uh, through to his heart chakra, his throat chakra, communication, his third eye chakra, what he perceives, uh, and his crown chakra, his really around his karma, what he's here to learn, connection with spirit, his soul, gives us an, a kind of a, an inclination around what his soul might be here to learn. So, Stuart Elmer, Stuart Rhodes the third. Stuart Ro known as Stuart Rhodes, Elmer to the Oath Keepers, founder, leader of the Oath Keepers, arrested for seditious conspiracy. I'd like to look, if I may please, into his chakras to gain an insight into what makes these type of extremists, domestic terrorists tick for the learning uh, of our collective good. Stuart Rhodes hit chakra readings. Base, sacral, solar, heart, throat, third eye, and crown chakras. Okay, I'm going to bring the laptop down and you can see these cards for themselves. Now, it's interesting. Um, I did want to look at his astrology, but as, as I said, there's no clear consensus on his birth year even. Um, let alone his birthplace. So we'll leave that for when clear details come through. So we have the Ten of Cups in the base chakra. Now that's interesting because the Ten of Cups is all about family. It's all about, you know, he probably had, I don't know much about his upbringing, but family would have been really important to him. When his own family broke down, he basically created another band of brothers the ten of cups certainly um family family connections uh loyalty love to the family were, was a part of his early formation i wonder what went wrong the sacral chakra yeah okay so this is <laughs> this is uh the Eight of Swords, uh, and of course he was restricted in his expression. So, in some way, he he, I'm taking an intuitive guess here that because he's got the Ten of Cups in his base chakra, which is a very positive card, then up next his sacral chakra, which is sexuality, confidence, um, artistic expression or self-expression. Because he's, uh, he was restricted in expressing himself. And so here we have portrait of an extremist, which is this pent up angst through a, a lack of expression or somehow um, self-doubt is what I see with the Eight of Swords. And it stops growth. It retards growth. So I wonder what went wrong. And that's and now I'm getting my answer. Let's see what happened in relation to his solar. Plexus chakra is strength. And so a leader and a founder of such an, uh, an extreme right organization like the Oath Keepers would have to be strong. So these situations that imp impacted, again, going back to his early life, that turned him, uh, that made him go in a certain direction, 
made him stronger, made him, when I say stronger, how do you measure strength? We've got, I've got Leo energy here, Leo the lion. So in a way, what he learnt through that Eight of Swords, he didn't overcome that. Now, the Eight of Swords is a, it's a, uh, it'll be interesting to get to where, what his third eye chakra is, because he may have had some kind of fairly strong, we wouldn't know that till we see his astrology chart. And I know Andre did that, but I, I need more information before I do his chart. But there could be some fairly strong third eye energy, some because the Eight of Swords will, will show up when you have these perceptions and fears, but they are fears of the your own making. Um, in other words, it's like a, a, I hesitate to say a paranoia, but, that, but that's what I'm getting. And rather than learning that, he somehow turned that into formation of a militia and he was the he was the captain let's see where his heart chakra goes the four of uh four of wands is it's all so much about four of wands is about family so again he recreated what was positive at some point in his life the band of brothers they became his family. And so he will be, I would hazard a guess, fairly loyal to his other oath keepers. Could be his heart aches for that family reunion. And again, if I look at his karma, the breakdown of his marriage and, and his family splitting up, uh, there's a there's a a fairly fairly or there may be a fairly deep wound now i'm gleaning this information psychically intuitively and what i'm seeing and feeling are coming through in this cards it's not uh it's not you know you have to use your own uh your own um i guess intuition as well and and we would have to corroborate this but just like i will pick up psychic almost like detective work in a channeling uh, it would be interesting to see, given there's virtually no information on the web about him, it would be interesting to see exactly what is in his past. Uh, family is the bond, the band of brothers. Family is, is there, ties that bind, the strength is in the family, the oath keepers, his army buddies, his... Uh, I can see why it's really clear why he did what he did um, in terms of the founding of the Oath Keepers back in 2000 and was uh, as Obama in the early years of the Obama presidency where he felt that everything he knew was under threat. Always goes back to black and white, doesn't it? Racism um, and, and fearing what you don't, fearing what is different to you. Throat chakra, we've got the five of wands and uh, you'll find, if I if I read on some of the politicians in the US at the moment, you would probably find this. The five of wands, nothing meets. It's all about obstacles and challenges. It's all about, this is the uh, card of the partisan hack. This is somebody that will, that lives communication he's used political divide as a pathway to power his throat chakra it will also I'd like to predict probably be his downfall because this isn't a long-lasting energy we then move into the six of wands if you don't change you stay in this energy but if you do if you do rise above it you move into the sixes which are all about healing so let's have a look uh where are we throat let's have a look at his third eye <laughs> okay the knight of wands um he is somebody 
again, this is fire energy. I'd like to see what's in, in the, the psychic uh, signs, Pisces and perhaps even uh, Sagittarius, Scorpio to a, to a certain extent. Um, through his third eye, he he's able to see a pathway forward for what? To take the family forward. To take the band of brothers forward. The uh, son of wands knows exactly where to head. Exactly where the fire is. Again, fire energy. Let's see what the karma is. <laughs> Are we surprised? The crown chakra is the five of swords. Abuse. Abuse, the fives. And so what is he here to do? He's here to rise above though, that five abusive, divisive energy by understanding the Eight of Swords. Interesting. The breakdown of his marriage, the leading of a seditious conspiracy, is all about abuse of his power. And he is strong. Strong in that abuse. Or a person of strength. Uh, I have never heard him talk, but I would say that when he does speak, he comes across as being strong because that's what brings the band of brothers together. And brothers and sisters, I guess. Okay, at the base of the pack, which is sort of like the underlying energy, he's got the Ten of Wands. So he is here to uh, finish a cycle, the Ten of Pentacles. Um, again, Earth energy, Tens, Tens. He's got to bring, you know, something to a close. Where will he find his redemption? I wonder. The Moon something buried, the shadow side, something that needs to come to the surface and death, endings. He, he, he has a role to play. He has a role to play in all of this. Stuart Rhodes, where will he find his redemption in this life? Let's see if he's going to talk. Now, the death card there suggests to me that he knew exactly who that bomber was. It was part of the plan to take and hold the capital, and then the president would declare this insurrection. There were multiple ways to get at this. He is very involved, obviously, given he's been charged as one of the planners, seditious conspiracy. Conspiracy is planning something. He's been charged with this. So he knew about the violent end of the coup planning. Let's see, does he know who the bomber was? And will he talk to authorities? So I've got the, the nine of... Uh, swords. He, he's quite anxious at this time and really that's an awful card for him, isn't it? Um, so Willie's anxiety, given that we know the Eight of Swords, that worry, paranoia to a certain extent is there. Uh, I would not say that he is relishing the opportunity to defend the charges. I think he'd be quite because the evidence is so stacked up, he'd be quite worried about spending a long time in prison. But will this be enough for him to flip his loyal to his brothers and sisters? Let's see. Does he know who this bomber... Does he know who this bomber was? The Eight of Pentacles. So the spider in the web suggesting, of course, that... 
this is uh, somebody who had work to do, was qualified to do it. It's also a yes card, winning, spinning the web. And the three of pentacles, absolutely. It was part of the planning and there were three sort of arms here. Um, he's not the only one that knew who that bomb, bomber was. And we've got the um, Seven of Swords, yeah. <laughs> Cunning as a fox. Um, and lies, deceit, being deceived, something clandestine. And the Four of Swords, wounding. I think the cards are pretty obvious. Sacrifice, wounding, sacrificial, lamb. Those that are wounded in battle. So I think that's pretty clear. He did know. And we've got the Seven of Pentacles uh, review when one plan doesn't. Of course, the bomb was, was unearthed when one plan doesn't pan out. You go back to another plan. So um, the bombing bomber and the bomb was part of the plan. Let's take a look at will he cooperate? Will he cooperate? It's hard. I'm not getting anything intuitively. I'll go by the cards. Because on one hand, he's got that extreme worry and paranoia. And on the other, he's got this incredible loyalty there to the people that he considers are his family. Stuart Rhodes, will he talk? Will he turn evidence over to the authorities? Which is stronger, the loyalty? All the worry. Will he turn evidence over? So we've got the Ace of Cups, which is a yes card, but we'll pull a full Celtic cross. Challenged by the Ten of Wands. Uh, again, where does his redemption lie? Uh, it could be in, in talking. Uh, but this is emotions as well. The Ace of Cups can be overflowing emotions and crossing that is... It, will he bring this cycle this time to a close? Remember, that's part of the underlying energy. The King of Swords is the foundation of the reading, the strength of the investigation. He is uh, like they're going to... Uh, he is a key. He is key in this investigation. That's the lawyer in him as well. Okay, so he will... Uh, he will bring that to bear when he's being questioned. Um, you know, who it's almost like he doesn't act as his own lawyer, but he does in a way. Um, he knows the law. The nine of wands um, in the past position boundaries. Boundaries in the past. Boundaries. Stepping out of boundaries, which is what he did in the past. Now we have the ten of pentacles, which is... Um, crowning this reading he has knowledge remember that came up before as well he has knowledge as the underlying uh, energy potentially he, he could tell them a lot about the funding of this and that's probably what they want from him but will he will he do that the daughter of pentacles yeah it looks like he might give up some information i don't see him um, ratting out on the Oath Keepers, but I do see him giving the authorities some information around funding, who paid the bills. The Two of Pentacles, he is walking a tightrope in the here and now. It could go either way. Uh, the Sun, full illumination here. That's interesting, the Sun. We get to the Sun when we get to the Truth. We can't get to it any other way. The Queen of Swords, Hopes and Fears. There's a woman here who might be uh, speaking with him within the DOJ. I think they have a special unit tasked with this. He fears her. Or it could even be somebody that might rat on him, a woman. Okay, so we have here the, uh, the Queen of Swords. Sorry, that's the Page of Swords. That's also the treason. Truth. We get to the truth. He looks like from these cards, the six of wands, um, 
it looks like from these cards, the Queen of Swords and the Six of, sorry, Six of Swords. Um, <laughs> it's very hard to distinguish, isn't it? The Six of Swords. They are swords, though. Uh, the Six of Swords and the Queen of Swords in the outcome. <laughs> looks like we get to the truth. We do. We do get to the truth. He hasn't decided to cooperate yet. But he will. And one of the most important bits of information he gives them is around the money. So it's inevitable that he will cooperate. The King of Wands, uh, of course, is the, the law, the courts. And we've got the star here. Getting to the truth. Getting the full truth. And then we get to the Ace of Pentacles. Which, if you look at my Spirit Files reading... That's where we end up after all of this. <laughs> That's individual and collective. And these are tiny pieces of the big puzzle, the big picture. So I'll leave it there. Um, I'll be back with another reading again soon. Uh, and all is well here. Thank you to my commentators, my comments, those that have hit the like button, those that have sub subscribed. And really thank you also to those who donate to the channel. Um, it keeps, you know, all of that keeps me, um, keeps this channel ticking over and, uh, keeps me sitting at this desk and using my, uh, my intuition, my psychic abilities, my tarot reading, my astrology, um, my spirituality, spiritual inclination, spiritual evolution brings me back to this desk, uh, desk all the time. It's you that makes this possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.